Hi everyone, this is Maureen Wong from uh, mycasestudies.blogspot.com. Today I have something a little different. Uh, I'm doing a review of a coloring book from Hannah Lynn. And in the interest of full disclosure, Hannah Lynn did send me this book for free in exchange for me doing a review. But my opinions um, are my own and they are my honest, truthful opinion. So don't think that just because she sent me a free book, I'm just gonna, you know, gush over it and not give you the real story. But anyway, um, but um, I do have to tell you that I am a huge fan of Hannah Lynn. I love her works. I think her girls are gorgeous and they're really fun to color. Um, so, you know, you gotta, I guess take that part with a grain of salt but anyway let me jump right into the book there are 50 drawings that you can color and right in the front there are two pages with like a table of contents these little thumbnails will help you pick which pictures you want to do and then once you get into the book it's the full size pages um, the paper to me very much like copy paper so what you're gonna what coloring medium you're gonna use on this you have to be sort of careful that it'll work with this paper um, one little tip I have is there's this blank page in the back of the book I just ripped that out and did some testing with my alcohol markers just to see if they would work okay and these are actually chameleons um, and you'll notice that I just ripped this right out because I like to work outside of my book um, and the pages are not perforated so be very careful when you're ripping your pages out if that's what you do because I was careless and sort of ripped into the border of one of my pictures. So anyway, going on to the coloring mediums that I tested, this is colored pencil and you can see that I actually got some pretty decent shading and blending in there. Um, I probably would have wanted to do more layers, but this paper wouldn't take it, so I stopped here. But this is actually a really nice result, I think. Um, I'm not I'm not a coloring expert, so you have to keep that in mind. But I think this came out pretty nice for my skill level um, on this paper. So yeah, definitely colored pencils and I don't know if I said these are Prismacolor pencils and then these are the chameleon alcohol markers and they worked really well on this paper actually there's very little bleeding outside of the lines and I think that's because I just wasn't careful enough with my coloring but Copics would work just as well on this um, there is of course the bleed through the back which is sort of the norm for alcohol markers but that's not a big issue I actually think this paper is really good for my in my experience for coloring with Copic markers I usually don't need any kind of fancy paper when I color with my Copic so you know keep that in mind then I went with this wild card here which is watercolors and I used a couple different kinds I used this really pretty pearly shimmery one and then I used actually this just super cheap craft store pan watercolors the ones that's like 12 in a pan for a buck something and I got some okay results the pearl is really pretty look at that fish <laughs> and um I got some okay results. The paper's all wrinkled as you would expect because this is not watercolor paper. So keep that in mind. This is not specialty paper for any particular coloring medium. Um, it's meant to be sort of all around so you can pick what you want to do with it. So that is why it's not specifically geared towards any one coloring medium or any other. So the alternative to this is you can actually go to hannahlynn.com and get a PDF version of this and print it out on specialty paper that you prefer for your preferred coloring medium like watercolor paper or if you like certain types of um, express it for Copics or whatever you prefer. You can do that, but keep in mind that you need to have the right ink coming out of your printer like if you're going to do watercolor you have to have waterproof ink and if you use a heavier paper your printer has to be able to accommodate that so if you have that I actually would recommend getting the PDF version um, but if you don't have a special printer that can do all of that I would still recommend this book maybe not for watercolors but colored pencils definitely alcohol markers definitely you could probably use crayons too and you know you start with pictures this gorgeous you're gonna get a gorgeous result no matter what you do so um 
that's my review. You can go get this book over on Amazon.com and I will put my affiliate link down below. And the affiliate link, of course, I get a little percentage when you buy the products using my link, but it costs nothing to you. So please use my affiliate links if you're gonna go buy this over at Amazon. And if not, you can get the PDF version over at hanalyn.com. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.